Only Little X brought next, and Kyla brought us. And those are stories of people who are, have undocumented history, our unsung heroes. So I stand here today celebrating, at least we're celebrating one. So we stand here on the backs of a people, of our ancestors like Marsha P, who came and I had the privilege of seeing the screening of the life and death in Marsha P. And to see this young lady right here and all the exemplary work that you've done to bring about justice to people who usually face that injustice. So I stand here a proud black trans woman amongst a community of people and my counterparts, my trans brothers, to stand here in support of people, of the trans people. Together, we stand here in love. And one thing I learned about that movie is the love that Marsha embodied. Like she had a community of people march over to the sixth precinct and demand answers for what happened to her. She had this young lady toil day and night to get answers. How many of that, how many of us can say that happens today? How many trans murders have we had in this year alone that still is unsolved, right? So let's speak about that for a minute. So we're happy and we're standing here privileged on the backs of those who have died and have toyed for us to have the rights to walk the streets at night safely at certain hours, some of us. You know? So that resonates within me and it makes me call to action, especially given the climate that we're in right now, the attack on all trans people, black, brown, trans men and trans women. We need to love on each other. This woman would come and take the last dollar out of her pocket to feed someone who didn't have. This woman would help someone who, as you say, the drug addict, transgender woman, who we probably overlook. She would come and love on them and make them feel important, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember, as I'm standing here, I was telling my, my colleague that I used to run around in this pier. And I didn't feel that type of injustice, but I didn't feel that type of injustice because of people like Marsha P. Come on, Matt. I didn't feel that type of injustice because I look around here and I see my black people who are in advocacy now. I happen to work for a transgender organization, for a nonprofit, but there's advocates in our space right now who toil and do the work for us to come and create these spaces for us to speak. And I thank you, and I thank Marsha, and I thank you for allowing that story to be told because there are a lot of people in history that we don't know about our community. So I stand here on those strong shoulders of ancestors who made it possible for us, right? Yeah. So I remember, and I close with this, right? Because I'm not a big speaker. I remember someone stood up and said, well, why now? Right? We were, there were, it was a Q&A about the movie, and they said, why now? And I stood up and I said, why not now? Right. Why not now? Why, not? why shouldn't we celebrate our ancestors. If not now, then when? Okay. When? Okay. Let's not let our brothers and sisters fall by the wayside with the talents that God has given them to add to this earth. So I just need you to look to the person next to you and just love on them and give them a hug and just say thank you for coming and celebrating the life of Marsha P. Celebrate each other and the life that we have because tomorrow is not promised, right? Amen. So just love on each other while we have the time because it's about community. They, there's a saying that says, give me my flowers now before I, I'm not here to receive them. So I encourage everyone to take flowers and give someone the flower. As you leave this pier and you see another transgender woman or trans man, give them those flowers. Tell about the history of our people. Tell them about Marsha. Tell them about Tracy Norman. Tell them about the Sean Coleman's, the Tanya Walkers, the Cecilia Gentis, the Lala Zanels. Tell them about those people. Create that space so we can be heard. Create that unity amongst ourselves and that love will transcend the, t the end of time. We have to do this. If not now, then when? Give me some more love for Tabitha. Give me some more love.